So if you really want to be hidden from you, don't understand the ancient of this. The reason is that your purpose is older than you. And God had your purpose in mind before creating you. And whatever it is that is older than you, you need revelation to capture it. And how to tap into it is to connect to the ancient of this. That is the one who was before you were born. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 18. The scripture says that the, under, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. That ye might know what is the what? The hope of his glory and the riches of what? Okay. In the saint. The next verse. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. This, this has to do with knowledge. If you have the knowledge of God to this dimension or you have this dimension of the knowledge of God, there is a way you necessarily honor him and reference him in your life. So the lack of this understanding brings us into a realm of dishonor. For some people, they have, they have dishonored the Lord to a point that they don't even seek to connect to him. That's why the number one principle to honoring the Lord is to actually see him first as the one who created you and submit and surrender your entire life to him. But there are people here on earth that has been, or God, God created them. In fact, some of them are even aware that God created them, but they have never submitted their life or surrendered their life to Jesus. It's a level of dishonor that I gave birth to you. I'm your father. I made you. And then you look at me and then you do what you want to do. I gave instructions. You can't follow it. I said, do this. You can't do it. The first man that was created fell from grace down to the grass, was rubbished and then maltreated by the devil because of this lack of the sense of honor. The Lord gave an instruction. Don't you can eat of any tree, but this one don't touch it. But then they did it. They heard of the tree that the Lord commanded them not to, not to at least touch. And you know what happened to them? Immediately they fell. It was the son that brought them to that place. It was if at the height of iniquity is the son. Because it's a pointer to one thing. Is a pointer to what is the pointer to the fact that you don't know him you don't comprehend him because if you know him and comprehend him if you understand his will you can comprehend his will you you will reference him so the emphasis on Paul time to time is that light we dawn on our heart as that the light shines in our heart definitely we will come to the comprehension of his calling the hope of his calling and the riches of the of his inheritance in the same towards us who believe According to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and he set him at the right hand of the Father, far above power, far above dominions, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is what? Which is to come. How oh, come on? You see what this place is saying? So deep, we can't go into it now fully. We can't go into it. What I'm trying to point to attention to is that you can't come to the comprehension of all of this and still live your life anyhow without honoring the ancient of this. You will bow before him every day, every now and then. And of course, honoring somebody is not kneeling down for the person. You can kneel down and then you are standing. Honoring a person is actually obeying him to the last, you obey the last command. You follow him time to time. You commit and surrender your entire life to him. If he says, don't do this, you are not doing it. You are living in obedience to his will. If you honor your father, you know, you are not just afraid that he will not kill you. But you are just doing what he desires that you do because of the honor you bestow on him. Hallelujah. If you honor the Lord, you can't confidently do things that you know are not consistent with his will. So what light we do is that light will give you the true picture of the ancient of this. And as you have the understanding of his true person, you can also have the understanding of yourself. Because as you see him, so you see yourself better. So the more you connect to him and then he reveals himself to you, the clearer 
you are to yourself. So if you really want to be hidden from you, don't understand the ancient of this. Are, are you with me? Do you know why? The reason is that your purpose is older than you. And God had your purpose in mind before creating you. And whatever it is that is older than you, you need revelation to capture it. Are we together here? Whatever knowledge that, that appears before you, you were born, you need revelation to tap into such, such light, such knowledge. And how to tap into it is to connect to the ancient of this. That is the one who was before you were born. The one who was in existence before even your father was given birth to. Your great grandfather. Imagine the level of understanding that you come into. The level of wisdom that you give expression to. If you can connect to this one. In solid relationship. Honoring him. Bestowing honor on him. Based on the revelation of him that you have captured. You will enjoy sufficient blessings. Beyond your age. And people will look at us and say, no, it, it can't be this guy. This is beyond this. So we considered victory through the ancient of this. We also considered wisdom through the ancient of this. These two are products of honor. David honored the Lord with his life. And he was able to stand before Goliath and Goliath fell flat before him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Solomon his son came on board and sacrificed to the Lord. Every sacrifice that the Lord himself, the ancient of this himself visited him and said, guy, what do you want? Ask me anything. In the dream of the night. And that young man says, oh, come on. God, you are the God of my father. You showed David mercy. Your mercy, you know, was shown to my father, David. You helped him. Grant me understanding that I may lead your people. And the Lord said, I will not just grant you understanding. He said, in the entire world, no, nobody will be as wise, as powerful as you. Because of honor, he sacrificed. So the sac, no, you can't bribe God. I'm not saying you should come and bribe him with money. So even what you give to him is a testament to the honor that you have for him. But then more than just what you give to him, you must reference him in your heart. Your life must honor him. That's why I love this song. Come on, open your mouth and sing it with your heart. And me, me, for God for her. Yes. Oh, but Tony, me. Oh, but Tony, me. Told down me. Told on me. Oh, but Tony, me. Oh, but Tony, me. Told down me. Told on me. Oh, but Tony, me. This man was so blessed with the Lord, not just with wisdom, with substance, with resources. The scripture says that the queen of Sheba came to visit. And then the essence of that visit was that he heard of the news of King David, I mean Solomon, how that wisdom was flowing out of him like water. And as he said, let me go and see for myself. What kind of man is this man? And the scripture says, he go, she got there. And we, we need, we need, oh my God, we don't really have time. Let me narrate what happened. Immediately that woman got there. She just looked, just by looking at the settings of the palace of David, I mean of Solomon. And the scripture recorded it that the spoons, the plates, everything, gold, gold, gold everywhere, gold everywhere. And not only that, the arrangement of his servants, 
<laughs> the scripture says that this according to that script, according to that particular passage the scripture says that the spirit of Queen Sheba left her now listen to me in our contemporary days we we'll say that she fell under anointing <laughs> Are we together here? That somebody can just come into your house and just looking around and ah, wow. Wow. Not just in the expensiveness of the things there, but in a strategic organization. She felt that nobody, uh, no, you know what she said? Her comment was that you are more than what I used to hear. That people, what people used to tell me, you are more than this. No, 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 no. What I heard from people no, no. The scripture says that that queen came with gold, silver, all manner of things to bless him. People of God, you will only have the shadow of your life in operation on earth if you don't know how to honor the ancient of this. If you honor him, your true essence will find expression. You will be shocked that, oh, so you are more than this. Yes, you are more than this. You are not this. The more you dishonor the ancient of this, whether consciously or consciously, the more you get diminished in time. Time has a way of sucking you. This life, what you have in the world, has a way of diminishing you, reducing your quality. Every time. Every, you can't even be in a place like our country and then you don't know how to honor the ancient of this. Only way out there. <laughs> yes. You say you are rich, you are rich. Just, just allow bounties to carry you. You will know how empty you are. <laughs> how empty. And they are demanding 100 million. And then the reason why you are saying you are rich is because you have 5 million in other country. They are not asking you 100 million as ransom. And you now packed that one, gave, gave that one that borrowed more just to rescue yourself. In one day, you can be you can be useless or whatever it is you have, you think you have can be can be messed up just say overnight but well, if the ancient of this is with us ha, he said who can be against us if the lord is with us one of my friends was traveling from uh, Abel Kuta down to Port Harcourt. And then on the road, they were ambushed. And then they asked all of them to come out of the vehicle. They line up. And then they were collecting their phones one by one, one by one, one by one. And then they got to him. They jumped in. He was looking at them like this. They didn't even ask him at all. Not that he did. They jumped in to another person, to the next person. And then they collected all their phones. And then those guys, they left. He was not sharing the testimony. He said, <laughs> He said, Ah, Pastor Sheba, we won't read me any money. Won't read you. That would be a job bad dash of boy. I should be okay too. It does not matter where you are coming from. All you need is just a strong connection and bond with him. And honor is the key. Just honor him with your life. Honor him with your life. Worship him appear in his presence time to time in honor of him. When you come to church, don't come for any other reason. I know you need money. I know you want healing. But please, just come for him. You can't see him and sickness will stay in your body. You can't see him and remain the same. Never. Never. You can't. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We give you all praise. Thank you, Lord, for sending your word to us throughout this month. Thank you for lavishing your blessings upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let everyone under the sound of my voice enjoy unusual supply from the ageless one. What is bigger than their age release in their hands. What is bigger than their hair? Supply to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. 